preachings and I was crying, but not out of sadness, out of satisfaction and release. It sets you up into a reset state. Pretty much the frequencies, the frequencies basically wash through your entire blood structure, rearrange your entire blood cells. <laughs> Uh, and not only organically, physically, but also pushes away any negative lingering energy that might be uh, putting you down or setting you, or, or, or setting you back. a skeptic of spirituality and if it really works the only thing i've ever seen on netflix is it turning into a cult i want to dive right into it and get out my comfort zone i came across albert trinity on facebook who runs alchemy sound healing where they host a nine hour spiritual gong bath yes nine hours the founders have agreed to be interviewed on what this event and art form is all about I touched down in North London and couldn't help but feeling nervous turn up to Strange's house who I found on Facebook. Pleasure to meet you. That's me, Alt Trinity. Lovely, please come over. As I walked up the narrow corridor, I thought this was it. The end of Morph. Or was I about to find my calling? Before you come into our home, welcome. We do this to all our clients and to everybody who comes for treatment, have all these sages before. If you want to turn your back to me, and turn yourself to me. Yeah, no, What's okay. this doing? This is just saging you and cleaning your aura a little bit. So if you want to have a little deep breath, hold. You know, it really opens you up many mysterious ways, and some of them not so mysterious. With the pineal, with the, from the pineal gland to. Uh, it sounded so wrong when you said it opens up. It opens you up in so many mysterious ways. <laughs> Don't be cheeky. Yeah. It's so cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> So cheeky. Okay, so. go on. So thank you guys for coming. My name is Al Trinity. I'm the founder and creator of Alchemy Sound Healing, the home of evolutionary sound therapy. This is Joanna, my beautiful gong master, uh, ins inspirational tool. Inspirational uh, tool? <laughs> yes. I wish someone would describe me like that, to be honest. <laughs> thank you. I am an experimentalist, such as Joanne as well. Everything that we get, like to put our hands on, we like to put our own input and mix a series of things to create mm -hmm. a new hybrid. And that's really what we created with Alchemy Sound Healing, really. And it's been a beautiful adventure. The core base of what we do is very scientific, mm -hmm. and I would say medical approved. It's a sound healing, EFT and hypnotherapy. It's a reprogramming and destruction of your own self limiting beliefs. Basically, you see, imagine yourself more for you go to the office every day. There's always gonna be that rotten apple that's gonna, you know, try to undermine you. Morpho, this isn't good enough. You didn't do this enough, but not in a good constructive way, like mm -hmm. in a more intrusive way. Over six months, eventually these negative messages start to penetrate the inside of your psyche. And start reprogramming you, starting making you feel bad about yourself. That becomes a reprogrammation. So that's called a limiting belief. So with EFT, what we do is we pick up those limiting beliefs and we shatter them, we break them, reprogramming you back into what you should originally be feeling about yourself. EFT is basically emotional freedom technique. Mm -hmm. We use certain pressure points. Acupuncture without hands. Acupuncture points, hands. but it's mm -hmm. not, yes, yeah, acupuncture without hands, but we use something called the meridians. So the meridians are like the blood vessels mm -hmm. of the energy flow. Have you ever faced any like backlash or negative kind of... Absolutely. People don't have a negative connotation. It's more uh, being afraid of the unknown. There is many people there. Oh, yeah, look, there are a bunch of cuckoos going into lying down. <laughs> Conch shell horns are an incredibly powerful tool. They produce a, 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 such a high sound at such a high frequency. <laughs> Believe it or not, uh, when we, we use it for therapy throughout 
the body of a client, either on a one-on-one therapy or even in conjunction with a gong. And we do that in our session. I mean, Joe, remember the last guy who had back pains? Oh yeah, it's gone. It's, I have such back pain. Bad you back. have back, back pain now? Okay. I, think, I think after the interview, let's give her a little uh, blast. God, I could really feel like the vibrations. The like my whole body was like. That's just a little sample of nothing that you just had. We do that. We do this in the end of the whole session. It's the beginning of it. It's just the. It's the build up. It's the crescendo. So you might be put into a position where you visualize yourself into a place, a special place where you will be visualizing the particular painful memory in a safe environment within your head. So you can pinpoint exactly what's the memory or trauma or phobia or anxiety that you want to get rid of. Once we've accomplished that by group, which is something that only us in Alchemy Sound Healing does, because EFT is, is a one-on-one -on -one therapy, very much like it is counseling and hypnotherapy. Once we've reached that understanding to yourself and to your subconscious of what it is that you want to get rid of. Then we start the EFT. We lay it down straight away into a full sequence. There's no stopping. And what we do is obviously EFT is, is a recognized medicine, medicine, science, basically scales the emotion that you want to get rid of from a scale of the zero being absolutely neutral, minus 10 being absolutely the worst nightmare that you can possibly be living with, and plus 10 that you joyful and pretty much resolved and happy with life. My first experience with sound healing 16 years ago, I it was completely out of the blue. I didn't know where I was going into. I just felt drawn into the place. It didn't have any FT. It didn't have any yoga. It didn't have any hypnotherapy. It was just a gong bar. I had physical convulsions in the floor, twitchings, and I was crying, mm. but not out of sadness, out of satisfaction and release. It became very very fascinated with the subject and quickly developed into everything. But like everything else, I tried to test this science, this experience up to different levels. I went there when I was happy. I went there when I was sad. I went there when I was heartbroken. I went there when I had days that I felt like I had a dark hole in my heart. You know, I would leave as if uh, somebody just passed on a massive giant rubber racer on me. It sets you up into a reset state. The frequencies basically wash through your entire blood structure and rearrange your entire blood cells. <laughs> Not only organically, physically, but also pushes away any negative lingering energy that might be putting you down. The sound and the frequencies wash through your bloodstream. Somebody did a little case study. They went to a carrying home for elderly people. They took one gong. They did a little pinch blood test on every single of the persons that was going to be involved in a gong bath. The blood cells were sometimes sticking to each other or some are more to the left or some more to the right. You know, de 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 arranged like you know, you'd expect. And then they had a 20 minute gong bath, 20 minutes. They did a pinch test again. And what they found was that the blood cells were completely uniform, like somebody draw them. It's yeah. amazing, it's just amazing. We, we gong edits, cause, yeah, you know, yeah. we, we are uh, healers or light workers or whatever names there are. We ourselves are absolute followers and believers and, yeah. you know. Once I had that background with EFT and hypnotherapy mm -hmm. and I saw this incredible, powerful tool. It sets you into the neutral point without no drugs, without no medication, without no counseling. <laughs> you know, we are doing something that's a bit unusual in our gong buffs that a lot of other people don't do. We work with very old and powerful symbology that has certain powers. Powers for healing, powers for purging, powers for manifesting. Manifesting is a beautiful thing. It's, it's, God, it's God and humanity's best biggest blessing mm. uh, and it all starts with your brain mm. you make your own you know, reality you make your, you know? without manifestation in your own brain the, pro the process of creation there wouldn't be poets writers musicians us in your brain mm -hmm. it starts here can you like pinpoint a moment where 
either yourself or a student really had that spiritual awakening? Well, that happened to one of my students. Somebody who came for a gong bus for the very first time three weeks ago, he decided that he's feeling so well that he has to enroll deeper. Straight off the bat, he has... I think it's bipolar. Bipolar, bi bipolarism. Mm. This comes from an unfortunate incident with his family mm -hmm. when he was more of a child, when his dad died. Mm -hmm. And his dad was a little bit abusive and things like that. So he is now on a journey to become a gong master himself. So he can allow himself to heal himself even more than I already facilitated for him to do. Mm. Because we don't really heal people. We open up channels inside of yourself where you can heal yourself. I can't go inside of your mind and tell you who you are and what you want to be. You know that. We can facilitate that for you and you do the rest of the work with us. So this is one of my precious uh, tuning forks, which is uh, 128 hertz, this one. Basically tuning forks is beautiful, beautiful uh, medicine. It's incredibly powerful that I use more in one-on-one -on -one therapies, treat trauma, anxiety, uh, phobia, emotional trauma, but also uh, physical pain. Range of them being the sulfasial series but this is just a small collection uh, of what the rest that I have in a collection of about 40 or 50. This one in particular has a crystal quartz feet and the tip of it, which is not usually how they come. These are specially made and that will amplify the power of the vibration itself. So here now can be some here. I'd just like to introduce to you some of our baby gongs, or uh, some of our family gongs, because <laughs> they are like members of the family. I come from a family of healers. My father is amongst a few things, a neurologist, demonologist, and a lot of other things. He heals people in his own way. My mom and my dad, they have unusual capabilities that I inherit, inherited from them. Sensory capabilities, manipulating energy, feeling energy, <laughs> you know, so I'm already kind of really open to that. Grew up like that. We were very well off and I was very lucky to have uh, a couple of parents that were able to make me understand what was happening with me while growing up because uh, if you don't have that guidance, you know, then you might think uh, there's something wrong with you, which is absolutely not have anything wrong with me because uh, one of the first things that my parents did when I started displaying my abilities from early on, they put me into a psychologist, a very expensive one, at a very young age, and my blood test, my blood was thoroughly analyzed in genealogical tree, the IQ, sleeping waves, and absolutely everything. And my blood is actually always negative. I'm a universal gifter, which I can give blood to everybody and I can only take my own, which is rare. Uh, so my, my health is pristine, top, tip top. I have healers in my family as well. I've been interested in helping people and spreading love and I've been gifted, but I didn't know about gong buffs. It's kind of opened my world and I'm now a gong addict. Mm. So I know you said you've come from a family of healers and well, within in this my, spiritual world. In my case, it was my grandfather. He was benefactor and, and healer, quite famous one. He's even in the Wikipedia. And the funny thing is his nickname was Albert, after Saint Albert as well, because he was helping the poor Mm. Uh, in the Second World War and saving uh, people from Nazis and, and you know his name is Albert so mm. and Albert is quite a rare name so immediately when he said that I was like mm. yeah. can I ask how to, you two both met it was quite an interesting story actually <laughs> oh, yes. uh, my friend said let's meet I'm gonna introduce you to a friend we're going to go out so I was walking to the place where we're gonna meet there was like hundreds of people in Camden and suddenly I noticed this guy, but I couldn't see his face and I couldn't see his body. It was just this guy with a long black coat and I just could feel the energy. I was just like, and I just knew this is the person who's gonna be introduced to me. And then I walked into the place and I was in so much distress because I could feel this mm. energy, which makes no sense because it was just that person's back. So there could be no uh, physical attraction. It was just purely the, energy and then uh, you walked in and I couldn't I couldn't look at you properly for like half an hour. Could you feel that energy as well? I didn't want to have any relationships at that moment. I was coming out from quite a traumatic situation myself that just blew in my face when I was everything was doing very well but I did saw her picture just before coming into the meeting and I remember that 
I felt the energy and it sparked my interest without me realizing how it was possible because mm. I wasn't really in that space. But I thought, oh, ah, oh, huh? You know, so it was a bit like that. So when I arrived, I thought she was extremely beautiful, uh, but very, very stern. She wouldn't look me in the eye and she was very, very serious. And I was like, enigmatic, very mysterious. But that didn't last for long, did it? A couple of things that I want to recommend for when you come. It's your first one. And the first one, you know, first people who have a gong bar for the first time normally have a one hour one, one hour and a half one, and already emotions and things can pop out of nowhere. So you guys are coming straight forward for We're going all full, night gong. Fully in there. Uh, it's going to be a full on gong night. And on top of that, it's going to have three or four other therapies on top of it. So, guys, you. you Come, if you have an intent with something that you want to, I don't know, if you know that you have something that you want to resolve and you want to get rid of, and you know that when you, when you, when you drink a few drinks, it comes out, or God knows, you know what I mean? You want to actually really get rid of it. Just focus on it and leave all the expectations at the door. Don't expect anything. Just come and follow my voice and relax and just follow everything I do. There's nothing else. You don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to please anybody. You don't have to worry about anybody's going to think of you. Throwing myself into the deep end with hitting a nine hour gong bar for the first time, I roped in my mate Obi to come along on the journey with me. Oh my God. Right, one rope. How are you feeling? Nervous. I'm very nervous. I'm fucking nervous. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, was, I went from being nervous to then being calm. And then now I'm back to being nervous because I'm so close. Nah, you're going to be chill. We're like three stops away. We look homeless. <laughs> we have pillows. We got pillows, blankets, yoga mats. We have a we're going in. We're going in with an open line. And that's what, that's what we can do. Yeah. 8.55 p.m. When we get out of it, it'll be the next day. <laughs> it'll be the next day. We're here for nine hours. <laughs> Peace and love, peeps. We're about to start. experience and this is your second second one what inspired you to kind of get in to gong baths i got involved through ecstatic dance which is how i found a whole new amazing life for myself my heart literally opens and my spirit soars every single time I love it's the that. most it's what the a beautiful most, sentence i love it's the most astonishingly wonderful thing i just Saw this on Facebook. I like trying things, doing new things, pushing yeah. the boundary, being vulnerable, allowing mm. myself to be vulnerable, opening your heart. If you really are just opening your spirit, just putting it out there and not really being aware or not allowing yourself to be aware of what other people are thinking, inhibited by what other people are thinking, is the most astonishing thing. And every time I ever do that, amazing stuff happens just always every time when we were like let down like me and Louis just like we're just holding hands I was well, just like really? this is oh, just amazing wow. I was like yeah. I'm not even like high mm. or anything and it was just this like touch what was the difference between your first one and this one my body was literally shaking I couldn't stop shaking because of the the energy in the room the way that the, the the gong, the vibration, mm. the tones, all those things in the in the mm. gong sounds were actually triggering that. I love in my that. body. Do I work in the, tech. You work in tech. I work in tech. You've sold your soul to the devil. <laughs> I sold my soul to the devil. With nine hours of gonging under my belt, the knowledge from alchemy sound healing, and chatting to my mate Paul, I found a whole new respect for the art form, which helps so many people in different ways. Although you'd think with the long white cloaks and ecstatic dance around a gong that you've joined a cult, the reality of this situation is never judge a book by its cover. Throwing yourself into the deep end of the unknown can give you a whole new beautiful perspective of life. <laughs> 